One thing, it wasn't going to be called Annie Hall. Woody Allen's first title for the film, and one he stuck to until just a few weeks before it was released, was anhedonia, which is a term used in psychology that means the inability to experience pleasure. And that was Woody's diagnosis of the character he plays in the movie, a guy named Alvy Singer, who's in love with this kooky girl named Annie Hall. The original plan was for the movie to be much more of a character study of Alvy than what it really turned out to be, which is more of a love story about Alvy and Annie. But Woody's original script was so long, the final movie would have run about four hours. So he did some judicious cutting of his script, trimming it down to a length that now runs just a little more than 90 minutes. In all, Annie Hall received five Academy Award nominations and eventually won four of them. That in a year when the big competition was from George Lucas's Star Wars. The awards for Annie Hall went to Diane Keaton as Best Actress, to Woody as Best Director, also to Woody for Best Original Screenplay, and of course it won for Best Picture of the Year. The only category in which it lost was Woody Allen as Best Actor. And the Oscar that year went to Richard Dreyfuss in The Goodbye Girl. Here's the film from 1977, Annie Hall.